Hey, uh, hey, hey, Captain. Hey, hey, Carl. Uh, what kind of radio do you prefer? AM or FM? If you listen to AM radio of the year 2020, you're probably a serial killer. <laughs> Jesus! Why? Why do they keep doing that? Why would they put a jump scare in the fucking main menu? I don't know. That's the third time I've been hit with that, and it doesn't That's get any less scary. That's literally the equivalent of when you go to like a haunted house and they have the assholes with the fucking skates on that like run at you when you haven't even paid yet. It's like, bruh. Yeah. It's good. I think that's the first main menu I've actually been hit with a jump square. That's new. Spooky. This is, uh, Necrogasm, though. It's Captain Milne with Crash Carl. Yeah. Oh, there, there's a lot going on here. Yeah, some weird rewinding shit. Not really sure what it is, but it's happening. So I know absolutely nothing about this game. No, me either. That's why I picked it. It's because it's, I'm growing in completely blind. It's called FM. It seems to be there's like some VHS tape shit going on here. Uh, I think this was a game made in Japan, ported to the US. So... It looks nice so far. It does. That'll be interesting. You know, it can always make for some good English subtitles. Oh, yeah. All right, so uh, it's no uh, it's no visage, but it, it it doesn't look too bad. It looks better than the swine so far. The, 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 the swine wasn't terrible. It's just uh, the guy had the crazy girlfriend who would never come out of the bathroom. She's just constantly pooping her pants. Yeah, I, and I, it's funny because we probably shouldn't talk about that because I have no idea in which order these will be put in. So uh, if, just if, if if the swine hasn't come out yet, like I just. Just get ready for pooping. Oh, There's going to be a lot of pooping. So much poop. So they haven't given me any sort of uh, direction here. They didn't even tell me how to open the door. I just went through it. But that light switch was was clickable. I can't see anything over here. I don't have a flashlight. I'm just going to go through the next door. Yeah, maybe go to where there's like light. Or maybe yeah. the TV. Oh, we can just go on in. Uh, all right, so we just stumbled into PT. Yeah, I, I can't move this switch. It's, it's These switches are not. It's fine. Yeah, there's those were not. It's an accent. Oh. Okay. All right. So I'm. I, I don't know if if we're to uh, assume. Oh, there we go. There's our tutorial. Can you, can you stop? I don't want you. Can this you literally stop. feels like Japanese PT. Yeah. Uh, left click to interact with certain objects. Flip this light Flip switch. Flip this light switch. What happens if you don't do it? Okay, so the... You just summon the evil. Yeah, I guess. Sometimes certain angles the, the, the click button works, other angles it does not. It's good. Yeah. So you know you have a good... I like how some of the lights turn on. Yeah, some of them do, other ones do not. Well, these two are off. Excuse me. See if I can't. I just got off work, and I am a tired boy. Okay, well, what sort of sense does that make? Ryan. Uh... Can't, can't get through this door. Uh-oh, we're gonna have to turn around. Oh. Yeah, this one's Spooky. not open. I'm gonna leave those lights Lock on, though. Door. There are very disturbed this evening to report the apparent murder-suicide of a wife and her two children supposedly by their husband and father. Is this literally just Japanese PT? I, I do not know. Taking his own life. I like the the font at the bottom too. It's very scary. Wounds, but were yeah. Beaten, but found very scary font. Several broken bones. Okay, what are they saying? Stay tuned um, for further details as we're going to murder his wife and her two children. And attempting to find a motive. Pregnant spouse in the stump for taking his own life. All right. I just no, always like this. This is legitimately the story of PT. Yeah. Well, here we are. <laughs> Um, I can't even remember. Alright, let's see if, uh, nope, still can't open that. Well, uh, I, here's the hallway simulator. I'd like to keep that on. Oh! Oh, God. That light just broke. What? You're gonna have to speak up! We can't hear you! Sir. Yeah, you gotta go towards the breathing, Ryan. I don't want to go towards the breathing. Go and the light switch is gone. It's just gone now. It's fine, Ryan. Oh, fuck! She needs you. She needs you. 
Okay, let's go to the breathing. She needs you, Ryan. She needs your strong arms. Oh, Christ, why am I doing this? Oh. Oh! See? You're fine. I just got an achievement called First Encounter, and, and the achievement you're... showed the some creepy little girl. You're fine. I was just staring at the wall the entire time because I was too afraid, but I think we were supposed to see something there. God damn it, Ryan. I was scared! You're a baby. It was scary. Okay. Uh, I still hear the radio going off. Can you imagine? I examine the radio. The crime was first reported by a neighbor who said she was. That was a very redneck neighbor. Two gunshots from the interior of the home. Um, at certain point in time, you must see objects in your surroundings that correlate to the story being told. In them. Proceed once you control after interacting with said objects. Story. This has no correlation to the solution. Oh. Okay. Okay. Can you imagine a horror TV show or movie, but filmed the, in the perspective of, like, somebody playing a horror game, so they're constantly, like, you're just like, get on with it! And they're just constantly, like, wavering and, like, looking at the ground and the wall. The crime was first reported I'd like by that. a neighbor who said she was walking her dog that. when she heard two gunshots from the interior already of heard the this. Oh, have we? Okay. Um, uh, all right. So, corpse. Look at that one. handwriting! Brain. Number two. That's like art. that's my Art's handwriting right there. Three a.m. Is this a puzzle? Uh, former cadaver state drained body fluids of the number one. That that feels like a puzzle. I don't know. Let's just see if we can leave the room. I mean, there. Oh god, I just got the shivers. I did get. There is a brain. Oh, there was a brain. There's a brain to the left. Right when we first walked in. All right. Well, let's go look at the brain. Number one, brain. There's a brain. Right there. I examine the brain. It's literally, I it's can't. It's a really. That's the most oval looking brain I've ever seen in my life. I can't, like, I'm a. Oh, there's more, more than one brain. Oh. I don't really understand how to interact with these. It's your friend. All right, we're, we're back. Oh, there was no little girl. All right, then it's not important. That's funny. I don't know why the achievement makes it seem like there is a little girl. All right, so we heard the rate. Okay, so go straight to the radio. Yeah. Do the thing. Hey, hold. Okay, so you guys have already seen this. Let's get. Let's the get ahead. The crime first reported by yeah. a neighbor. Whoa! The crime was reported by a neighbor. Two gunshots. So what would happen if you look to the right? Yeah. And you looked above the sink. Above the sink, it looked at that random picture frame to the left. Oh yeah, look at that. Different. Maybe... Whoa! It's a dog! Wow. Click on it. So, yeah, we had to consult the internet, but uh, we also turned up the brightness, so that'll be a little easier to see things, too. Oh, shit, what? You can do that? Oh! <laughs> this is a weird photograph. Oh, they all got iced. It's like those, uh, yeah, yeah. those electric, those electric ones. All right, so I'll just look for the things that after stand out. The police, she then went to investigate the commotion and discovered the bodies after receiving no answer at the door. I simply cannot imagine the weight she must feel after discovering such a horrific event so close to her home. Okay, this, this fell over, that wasn't there, and the brain, oh, never mind, the brain is still there. Ha! Huh. It's weird that they said weight. I wonder... What device may or may not be used to wait for as a measurement oh, of oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh man, well, you oh. so basically, I'm just looking for the two most obvious things in the room. <laughs> oh, oh, this brain. Oh, there's a brain. Okay, all right. That. And that's as far as any of the playthroughs have gone. She described the scene in gross okay. detail, stating that the family bathroom had so much blood on its walls and floor that the drain had been clogged. All right, uh, said something about like a drain. Good luck at the drain. Yeah. Okay, see, we're figuring it out now. We know what to do. Oh! 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 Scary blood! Oh, there's blood. Okay, what next? Who's banging on the door? This is getting very absurd. Hello? One of the 
bodies present in the bathroom was the family's 11-year-old daughter. daughter, who was the third and final victim to be identified as dead at the scene. Okay. Maybe one of the doors? That's what I'm thinking, all the blood on it. Hey, nice, we're smart. So, a little dead daughter. Oh, TV, is... that's a weird place for that. Yeah, why would you put your television in there? Oh, it's the, it's the oh, Yule Log! Nice and cozy. Oh. Oh. Alright, well now I feel bad. Someone's burning a lot. Oh, that was per that was a person. Did you see that? Yeah, that was spooky. It's a creepy little girl. Uh right. Act one. Act one! Huzzah! I'm guessing we beat this. Yeah, we beat the room. Yeah, we did it! We solved this puzzle. Alright, we got an understanding of how to do the puzzles, at least. You gonna close on me? Yeah. Uh, uh okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Some scary lighting. Scary tile That's on the spooky. walls. Alright, let's see what's in here now. Hey, we're back in our home. Ooh, we're back in the living room. So we hit a morgue. I wonder what's next. So do you think it's gonna be like a uh, visage where there's... Oh, oh, hey. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. You gotta go through all the stories of all the, the people that died. More callers and details yet to come on this thrilling story. I like how this guy has a redneck accent. I don't know why I'm enjoying it, but it, what I am. Now don't you touch that dial, because I tell you what. Is it... There's a hell of a story coming out. I reckon. I reckon there's, you're, you're gonna die here from Satan. Super stereotypical. Oh, hey. Back here. The, the old... Living room. Hello. Oh hey. Get away. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a little sinister. Honestly, it kind of sounded like she was coming more than dying, but I mean. Yeah. It's, uh, that was something. Oh hey, the door's open now. Hey! Oh, oh, dude, come on. I bet oh, the fine China. My father was said to be a heavy drinker by friends and family right. and would often cause commotion late at night once returning home. He worked as a construction foreman and would frequently visit the local bar with co workers once their shifts were over. Nice. I mean, Working there's man. There's nothing inherently wrong with like going out with co workers. No, no, you're just having some drinks with the boys. That maybe I the... mean, don't be a drunk asshole. Yeah, man. yeah, maybe the violence is not great, but you know. Yeah, no, that part's lame. But, <laughs> don't don't hit your your family. That's no no. They're they're pretty important. No. Oh look at all these bottles. Look, I'm a drinker. Whoa, he was a drinker. Look at what all is that. Is that just apples on the table? Yeah, just some apples. You don't ever put apples on your the table. The smallest apples I've ever seen in my life. And some blueberries and some pears. I think either those apples are incredibly small or those fucking wine bottles are massive. Probably pretty big. He drinks a lot, you know. What just broke? Something broke. Sound like one of them just broke. Uh, I don't, I don't know. All right, well, I, I can see that this man was, uh, he was a drinker. The story is coming at us. Oh, there's a gun. Can, oh. can we use the gun? I'd, I'd like to, to have that. He kept his signature hunting rifle. Yeah. Lot that looks like a Left 4 Dead hunting rifle. The same place that he stored his alcohol. Yeah, that's where I keep my guns, next to the old liquor. It would be severely punished if found tampering with it. Yeah. Who the fuck has a signature rifle? You know, for for gunning people down. That's your signature. Your signature rifle. Oh, here comes old Jim Bob with his signature rifle. Yeah, gunning down another family. It's got like a Confederate flag camo on it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey. All right. So we still. Hey, the guns here. Guns here and the alcohol. Not, not usually a great combo. I gotta say, this this sofa looks very comfy. Yeah, those bottom two. The little cushions look fucking cozy, dude. Yeah, and you got the, the extra ones on the side. Alright, let's see what's going on with the television. Oh, there's something on the... This painting was empty last time. It's oh. a nice dock. I mean, I wouldn't say it's nice. It kind of looks like it's falling apart, but I mean, yeah. It looks cozy. Yeah, and actually, you know, the more I look at it, those are some really, <laughs> really small the pieces sunset. of wood. The sunset's pretty. Yeah, it is. It's a nice sunset. All right, so he has a gun. He drinks. It's a signature gun for gunning down daughters and sons. 
The only safe place to be once the father started drinking was anywhere hidden in the dark. Yeah. The children told stories to their grandparents about entire nights spent in the closet or under their beds attempting to avoid... Yeah, anything. Dad's got... He's drinking again. He's got a signature gun out. Gotta oh, hide in the dark. Again. Okay. Here we go. Is there something above you? Okay. The lamp? It was just that. Okay, back into the dark speak. corridor. Oh god, don't like this. Alright, we're good. There's nothing here. It's safe. Yeah, easy. We're safe. Yeah, it's there's the, the kids, the children, they turn the lights off when, when the dad has the nothing gun. Nothing bad has ever happened in the dark. Oh uh, dad's trying to get in. That's trying to get in. Lots of blood in here now. The the table is gone. The apples. It looks like let's, let's, yeah, they're the apples are fine. Oh, They're good. Hey, yeah. The apples are fine. There's some pears. There's the pears. Okay. And the giant blueberries. Those bruise easily, so. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah, so we got more photographs on the wall. That's pretty cool. This was just an empty hallway earlier. They got the sheep. Oh my god, those are cute. Those are pretty cute sheep. So this is... Oh, hey, it's getting... Oh, never mind. It's the same grandparents said they were fearful of the wife and children's futures after so many episodes of domestic abuse. They described right. an incident in particular in which the mother suffered from a traumatic head injury that sent her to the hospital. Yeah. All beater McBeatinson has been beating his wife again. Yeah. Hitting her in the head with the signature gun of his. Back here at the hospital. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh, the, the, the wardrobe fell over. Oh, not the oh. Oh, and the bookshelf. Is that Harry Potter? Is that? That's legitimately Larry Harry Larry Hotter, and the. It says genius big, reading at the big bottom. Big gay, big gay penis. It looks like big gay penis. How about <laughs> this one? The secrets of Zen Zenim. All right, well that's cool. That was definitely Harry Potter. Uh, that oh that like... yeah the chair is on top of the thing. Oh. All right. The lights are on. The, t the television has fallen over. The photographs have become televisions. This I'm is just gonna schizophrenia. Yeah, hey! Exactly. Wow, that got... Somebody really, really wanted that wardrobe in that room. The yeah, I didn't want it there anymore. The There's no radio here. Yeah, it's hard to... Oh, wow, that's over there. Do I go towards the... I'm just not gonna don't, deal with don't that. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, who's who's doing Hello? this? Is it the daughter? Is it... Alright, I can... Hey, what's going on? Yeah, the apples are still there. I'm safe. Yeah. Hello? Is this, is this the apples? Is this the apples? Hello? Oh, that's right behind you. Uh, what do I do? I run? Uh, do I run? Fine. What do I do? You're fine. You're fine. Hey, where's the gun? Hide behind the chair. Keep... It's the left one. No! Do I let him in? Yes. The door won't hold for long. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave. I'll leave. I, 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 you don't need to tell me. The door won't hold for long. Hey, oh no, we're back in high school. On the day of the crime, the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. Those in the main office yep. at the time described him as eerily anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building. Yeah, I gotta murder my children, so you need to give them to me. Yeah. Okay, so maybe they're in the office? That's, uh, what we're going for here? Is this the office? Hello? Yeah, I have to murder my kid before the school shooter does it for me. Yeah, look at that. Lunch. That looks different. Can you interact with it? Okay, so I'm assuming this... No, I, I'm actually, I don't know. No. I'm assuming this is another inch... Look at something, or in another one of those rooms. On the day of the crime, the father checked out... Yeah, yep. Okay. Both children, children early for school around noon, and these are the men in the office at the time. time. She's really anxious. Eerily anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building. Wait, quickly, maybe look at a clock? Might be right. 
Hey, God, good call. Fucking, it's it's painful being this intelligent. Yeah, you nailed That's it. That's the biggest hour hand I've ever seen in my life. I, does it do something? Let it happen. What time is it? Can't it's right, it's two two forty two. I don't know. Touch the matters. second I hand. Crime. The father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. Those in around the noon, so change the time to noon if you can. As eerily anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building. That's, that isn't that. Uh, that's that's around noon. Yep. Keep, so keep moving. I mean, it kicked you out, right? It did. I think it got the completion. Okay, so keep moving, and I'm assuming some more dialogue will appear. Well, it was the same radio that just came. Well, out, so you were kind of like mid on it. I'm looking at you, brother. All right, let's, let's go back to the radio. On the day of the crime, the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. Those in the main office at the. I haven't even tried the doors yet. Eerily <laughs> anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building. They're just like, sir, why are you here? Wait a second. Go to the clock in the hallway. You have, you ought to change every clock. That could be a thing. God. Hey, you got the, you got the right idea. You got okay, it. There's it, probably another one in that other room. Yep. Let's say you are probably right. Just bust a move. He said, they said three too, so I'm assuming three clocks at noon. Both of his children early from school around noon. Those in the main. We said three at noon. You should know what that means. All right, that's that's three. Gotta unlock it, right? Hey, there it is. All right, recess. When called to the front office, both of the children's moods quickly shifted to that of pure dread. The teachers asked them yeah. to gather their books, among other belongings, which they did at the slowest fucking pace possible. <laughs> nine students per classroom. <laughs> Something nine students per classroom. Look at the classroom. box to the right. On the also. Let me just see what the, there's something on this. On. What? What year is it that they have actual pails? Yeah, I know. Like, what the fuck? What is this, 1945? Really like... What is this? Why would you... Maybe go to the other uh, room? The front office. Both front the office, both the children's room. Your drawer of the teacher has some books among his belongings. To gather their books. Other belongings, which they did at the slowest fucking pace possible. <laughs> in the small school, typically only nine. I love that. It's so fucking, fucking just passive aggressive. All right, so the number nine is also books mentioned. Uh, more books. Maybe you have to Perhaps? touch or look at every book. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. You do. You need to actually that's pick them good. up. All right, so that's one book, two books. One book. Two books. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. I, I think, I, no, there's like a fuck ton in the other room. Which they did at the the trace. Three, three books. Slowly fucking nine students per classroom. I've got... Diarrhea. Four, five, five, six. Sam. Seven. Dos Mas. Two more books. Any more books? In no more books! Uh, Maybe in the lockers? Maybe. When called to your right. office, both of the children's moods quickly shifted to that of pure dread. The teachers asked them to gather their books, among other belongings, which they Where did are the other at two the books? slowest fucking pace possible. Interrupting the small school of typically only... The slowest <laughs> fucking pace. <laughs> That's just so bananas. Got that. Oh, where are these other two books? We're probably just dumb. One on the desk. Oh, there's one. 
one more. more. Or book. I'm doing this with the slowest fucking face. <laughs> Is there one on the floor here somewhere? One more book, my good man. When oh, there it is on top of the thing. Silly book. Oh. Alright. Can I leave now? I just need to go get gunned down by my dad. Opposite rooms from one another. The children also differ greatly in personality. The daughter strive for greatness. Her favorite subject being geography. And has always Look at one of the globes. The son, on the other hand, was yes. certainly punished right. for his actions, often getting sent punished. to punished. Okay. Geography. The other guy was punished. He was writing on the whiteboard. I don't know. I can't look. Oh, there's blood. How far away you get, they'll always be with okay, you. So go to the other. So the the sun's in the other room. They got punished. He's getting punished. They're gonna be a clown mask. They're gonna be like a, a dunce mask. Gimp outfit. Yeah. Put the put this kid in the gimp outfit. Yeah. We had walk around around school. The, dun the dunce Aside hat. To opposite rooms from one another. The children also differ greatly and? in personality. The daughter strive for greatness. Her favorite subject being geography, Lunch? and has always been at the top of her class. The son, on the other hand, was deservedly punished for his actions. Oh, uh, look in the corner of the room for a chair. That's the teacher. This chair. Is there, a, is there a chair that we see that's being like... Oh, look at a fallen chair, maybe? I would... I don't fucking know. Is there a punished child around here anywhere? Hello? Are there any disgruntled children? Are there... Dicks on the paper? ...to opposite rooms from one another. The children also differ greatly in personality. The it's got to be in here, right? I mean, we did the thing. It could still be in the other room, or it could be on the hallway. Ooh. It says opposite rooms. Go check out the locker. Actions, often getting sent to time out for locker. Up. There's an open locker to the right. Do you think he got pushed in the locker for time out? Any of them? <laughs> is that what time out is? Put a student in a locker? That'd be pretty fucked, dude. Ooh, out, uh, outside maybe... of the hallway. Check those chairs. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hey, you just put him outside. That was that was timeout. Uh, Whoa! And blood on the wall. That's so goofy. No matter how hard you try, you'll end up just like your father. Yeah, I know. Heard that. Most days, it seemed like the only safe space for the young man locker. to inside his own locker. If he wasn't getting beaten at home, that one just opened up. The children at school would. I think you have to get in the locker, Ryan. Locker. Embrace. Get in this. Look at the door, maybe. Oh, there we go. Getting in. Well, this is gonna. Oh. Whoa. It just sounds like she's touching herself. <laughs> uh, not a fan of that. Uh, not letting me move. Okay. All right. <laughs> Alert. Alert. We're get, now we're going back in. Oh shit. No, no. Please. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Act two, okay. bitch. Uh, all right, well, uh, do you think that's a good place to stop yeah. this? All right, I give this one a solid 2 out of 10. Yeah. Well, when, you, so when most of your horror effects sound like some like a woman pleasuring herself, I don't necessarily know <laughs> if that makes for the best horror game. Also, when, when it gets to a point where I'm actively rooting for, like, jump scares to happen, yeah. 
is when is when I'm not really hey, super. Hey, you involved know what? The best tagline for FM would be on Steam when the best jump scare is literally in the main menu. Yep, <laughs> that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Yeah, so play the game for the main menu. Uh, that's about all I can say. Bye. All right. Bye.